Hello and welcome back to the Powder of Podcast. Uh, we have been hearing, we have been reading, and a lot of you guys want guests on the Powder of Podcast. So we have guests on the Powder of Podcast. This is Mukul, and Mukul is actually famous in uh, the automotive famous. industry. But uh, Mukul, I, I also, would love to think so. <laughs> yeah, hmm. but Mukul is famous because of his brand, and that is what we are here to talk about. I'm sure. If you have known of customization, then I'm sure people have known of Autolog Design because you have been around for the longest time. Yeah, from being a new guy on the block to being around for the longest time. Yeah, yeah. Take some time to seep in, but yeah, yeah. 10-12 years ago. Yeah. So Autolog Design is what we're going to talk about. We'll we'll obviously talk about the journey, how it started, where we are today. Yeah. But before that, uh, let me quickly remind you that we are available on all audio. podcasting platforms and also as the video format on youtube uh, if you want to see more guests let us know in the comment section below but now we'll get back to mukul and autolog design Let's so autolog design yes how did it start when did it start pain points kya the what was that process all about take me back to that day hmm i don't think there was a day as such apart from the registration of the company maybe hmm. Hmm. but it was building up hmm. So I moved to Pune in 2005. I came here for law. So ILS Law College is supposedly one of the better law colleges. So my dad was very particular that I should do a professional course. Hmm. So with a lot of reluctance, I got into that. Hmm. And he had promised me that you get into college, I'll get you a bike. Uske pehle se mera biking to chalu ho gaya tha without my father knowing much. But that's how it always starts. Yeah. So I mean maybe that's a different conversation but yeah when I moved to Pune I I met these boys called Rubber Smoking Angels I say yes. yes so that was how it started for me uske pehle motorcycles were going on for me but not the way that they are now or that was the seed so I started meeting these RSA boys understood about motorcycling clubs and culture and stuff customization then happened because my dad had told me you get into college I'll get you charisma Hmm. So I got this two thousand and five. Two thousand five. Yeah. Okay. Tab I think two years ago, the charisma co I was. So it was like a big all deal. the rage back then. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I had that red two color. Two hundred rodi. Anyway, rodis was yeah. I remember line up of Simbi ke samne <laughs> do do kilometer ki line to get into rodis. Anyway, so yeah, I got myself a charisma. Got into a club. Uh, I started working at a garage for his in uh, Kondwa. He had a But garage. But yeah, yeah, really? Yeah. Oh wow! For three years, I was there. So me, Rohit Paradkar, and Fariz used to work there. Superb. So got experience with a lot of motorcycles, and by the time fourth year of law came, I realized <clears throat> that this is not what I want to do. So my graduation already ho gayi thi. So in terms of satisfying my father, I think I had already got that. Even though he would have wanted me to finish law completely, my year down was fourth year. My attendance hmm. because of that. Hmm. So then I figured I can't do one extra year and then possibly not work in the law wala scene. So just by chance, DC ka college us time start ho raha tha. So I'd always looked up to DC and unka college start ho raha tha. So I was like, this is my chance. So I convinced my mom and dad that graduation ho gaya. Let me do my masters in design. Hmm. So. I was in the lab rat first batch of DC's college where, if nothing else, I got a job with him. So that taught me everything I know, and that's how Autolog happened. So I had actually pitched the Autolog idea to DC. Hmm. He was quite excited, but other people in the company weren't. Hmm. So eventually, I made my own thing. Hmm. Yuvraj was my trump card. Hmm. He was also my cousin brother. Hmm. So I this is Yuvraj thing, by the way. Yes, oh. the che chakke wala Yuvraj. Oh. <laughs> So I pitched the idea to him. He was on board. He's an enthusiast, not yeah. so much for motorcycles, more towards cars. Hmm. But he liked the idea, and that's how what log happened. Okay. So dad wanted you to become a lawyer. What did you want to become before auto log, before DC, before everything? Um, I don't think I had any clear idea. Me ko bas ye pata tha ki me ko ise engineering or. Wo nahi karna. Ha. I was never good at maths, and my dad used to keep forcing me to take maths. So. I just knew I didn't want to do that. I didn't think or I didn't realize that there was scope in the stuff that I like about automotive. I didn't know enough. Hmm. But then once Pune happened, started seeing the magazine culture, started seeing my friends becoming journalists and 
just stuff like that and evolved myself so from what my needs were to understanding other people's needs i guess hmm. okay so why the name autolog what does autolog mean i mean quite literally it means automotive conversation okay Auto- dialogue and yeah okay so basically anything related to automotive can actually be an autolog hmm. did so, you have any other names स्टार्टिंग that was like a starting point hmm. so autolog was meant to be a wide automotive brand like a hmm. brand that could cover a lot of relevant things for enthusiasts hmm. so conversation that sprouts from anything that's hmm. relevant so you were primarily a designer yeah that was that was more because i liked customizing stuff yeah so <clears throat> i i went to dc i learned the process of design Hmm. I wouldn't call myself a designer. I'm not really good at art. Hmm. I mean, I have I would like to think good taste, hmm. but it's still my taste. Hmm. Uh so I have a team that does the design work, but because I understand design process, I'm able to give them inputs which make it maybe a little more autolog hmm. because that's what I've been trying to do. A lot of my design team has changed, but we try and keep the design language similar so hmm. in some way i'm a designer but not fully hmm. how did that uh, so you have a space in pune yes which is the autolog office yes. in some ways i can call it that and yeah. that's where a lot of the design process the fabrication yeah. a lot of the behind the scenes work happens yeah. yeah how did that place come into picture so i've been very lucky right from the uv aspect to it to uh my dad had invested in this land long time ago before mm. autolog ka thought happened or anything mm. बहुत दूर है hmm. उस टाइम तो बहुत ही दूर था hmm. अभी एज यू हैव सीन इट्स बिकम क्लोजर एंड क्लोजर एंड पार्ट ऑफ द सिटी नाउ ऑलमोस्ट बट या आई वाज रियली लकी डैड हैड ऑलरेडी बॉट दैट प्लेस सो स्पेस वाज नेवर अ प्रॉब्लम फॉर मी नीदर वाज रेंट एज अ हेडेक और व्हेन यू स्टार्टिंग आउट इट्स अ बिग प्रॉब्लम दैट लॉट ऑफ पीपल फेस सो आई डिट हैव दैट आई हैड इनफ स्पेस फॉर मी टू पार्क वट एवर बाइक्स कार्स दैट वी वर एबल टू गेट देयर लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव दोज इशूज सो I I think I was really lucky that way. So that's how the land happened and slowly we've evolved. It's still very primitive. It's not like a factory. Hmm. Uh, but we hope that it gets to that point. It's bahut change hua hai. Hmm. From the time we started, we've added so much to it. But there's a long way to go. Hmm. Yeah, I remember when I when I was I mean, when I moved to Pune, became a part of Power Drift and I got to know about you guys. And I had to sort of uh, come and meet you. and tabhi back i think that was 2016 or 17 and in that area network was a major <laughs> issue yeah so i never got through your number and when <laughs> when you when i used to search autolog design and all of that it shows a place on the map yeah but getting to that location is a headache in itself yeah it's because there are two different routes and back then to tabhi kacha rasta bhi tha yeah shuru mein to rasta hi nahi tha Haan. the only way to get to autolog was in a jeep ah <laughs> so yeah. exactly Yeah, it was that bad, but now luckily the roads are much Haan, much better. I think luckily. one part is concrete, the yeah. other part is this thing, and now I think land development के वजह से there are lots of properties that are coming up yeah. in and around. Every time so I, I think accessibility look around, Haan, kuch naya naya aage. yeah, yeah. Uh, was the idea behind Autolog always customization? Hmm, I think it started from there. Yeah. Then. Uh, it was more about stuff that i wanted to do and i thought was missing hmm. so that's where the idea started from but then i two years into it maybe realized that it has to be more for what other people want i have to understand what other people want better hmm. rather than just make stuff from what i think people want because i ran out of money at hmm. at the end of two years hmm. whatever money i had in the beginning i made maybe five seven parts hmm. didn't really focus on marketing hmm. um so it wasn't really customization it was always going to be bolt on parts bolt that on was, kits yeah so yeah. that was i mean my dad made sure that i thought of a differentiator hmm. 
I I I I was never going to be just another custom shop. Mm. That was sure from the beginning. So what I missed out when I started was that charisma. Thi charisma ke liye kuch parts milti nahi the. Mm. These Nana Pet sort of or Karol Bag sort of places had these really cheap fiber kits, maybe from you know NSRs which had been tweaked and molded and become like this bulbous looking fairing. So just big bike feel ke liye people used to do that. I did that. There were no options. So with that thought, I thought you know, our Indian category of motorcycles, like how internationally you go to a Triumph Harley, you have correct fifty accessories for every model. Here we never had that. Mm. Now a lot of brands are doing it. Mm. So I, I mean, I feel happy that we were part of that, you know, change, change that happened. Yeah. So bolt-on accessories for motorcycles never existed. Autolog tried to create that. That was my starting point. Mm. Customization is close to me. Mm. I love making something which is one-off. Mm. but as a business and if you notice around like the customization aspect is not scalable hmm. you can do 10 bikes a year hmm. 20 maybe but that's about it so if i really wanted to make a business out of it i had to look at the kits and cu- not so much the customization part of it okay so what was your first kit first kit was the ktm x26 launch which was the 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 thing na yes yeah बिकॉज के टी एम वो सच अ बिग डील तो के टी एम के लिए सुपर ड्यूक इंस्पायर्ड किट नाउ एन आई लुक बैक आई मे वी नॉट वट आई वुड डन इफ आई इट वॉज द फर्स्ट किट बट इट वर्क टू गोट लॉट ऑफ पीपल के टी एम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व में आ गई थी दू हंड्रेड थ्री नाइन थ्री नाइन सो वी गॉट वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट वन built it for uv in those blue and black ah, i remember i think it was yeah. also showcased at uh, india, india bike week yeah, yeah. Oh. that's where we came out like that's not came out but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. but amazing man uh, i also feel that a lot of the problems that an owner faces the solution will somewhere be in the aftermarket scene you know if you and uh, i mean i'm i'm not talking about aesthetics in in particular but uh, if you have a terrible suspension you will get an aftermarket suspension right if you want lighter wheels and if you feel feel you know wheels uh, heavier wheels are getting in the way of more more mass then sure i mean you know there is the aftermarket or the world of accessories and aftermarket parts where a lot of your problems can be solved correct you focused a lot on aesthetics yeah as a value Yeah. why aesthetics and not mechanical or just equipment in general i think it's more because of interest hmm. the fact that i was more into the aesthetic part of it i am you call it a poser i am a poser i love okay. having a good looking motorcycle that i just clean i ride less than i look at it <laughs> that's, that's the truth of it okay. but and i think that is yeah i mean pure bikers would probably laugh at that category of people but that's a huge part of the biker population hmm. guys who buy stuff because of the feeling that they get yeah. and just looking at it in your parking so the aesthetic part is where my interest was that's how it started and i think my our expertise in general is in that part of it but that doesn't mean that i don't want to do it it's also about the legalities yeah yeah, yeah sure so because of my law thing i had checked ki what you can do and what you can't so performance dynamics it all gets tested to a different level Hmm. Aesthetics. And there there's are, also the legal issue, uh, the yeah. legal arm getting involved. In yes. Like that. So in that, with that context, I would rather stay out of it till regulations in the country become clearer, and you know where there are things which are allowed. Hmm. Otherwise, if things blow up, and at the end of it, you know, you do ten thousand things right, and hmm. one thing that goes wrong can just ruin everything. So bolt-on kits. Me, if for example, if they if there's ever a legal issue, right, you can still strip it off. Exactly because that that's the whole purpose of a bolt-on kit, right? Yeah. So I mean, that's one part of it. Reversible. You 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 say you don't like the look anymore. You want to get rid of it. You get rid of it. Hmm. Custom me, what happens? You've cut something. You've welded something. You've bolted something. Whatever. So there's a lot. Then more. there's a then there's a problem. Yeah, and there's a lot more effort involved in you going back to stock if you hmm. have to. But hmm. in bolt-on, it's just like. उतारो लगाओ टुडे यू फील लाइक कैफे रेसर कैफे रेसर टुमारो यू फील स्क्रैमलर पुट सम स्क्रैमलर पार्ट्स सो इट्स लाइक दैट यू नो द थिंग दैट यू स्पीक ऑफ यू लाइक लुकिंग एट योर मोटरसाइकल्स बोथ देन यू राइड एंड 
one of the things that an enthusiast will always like or always uh connect with looks yeah that's, that's the, the first, first thing. thing yeah if if that's a good looking motorcycle yeah. that's a good looking motorcycle yeah. that's your first connection you cannot tell or talk about ride experience absolutely. by just looking at it absolutely agar if it's a good motorcycle and goes fast and handles well and you know evokes that invokes that emotion yeah. then sorted enough yeah that's the overall thing but looks thing. is the first absolutely thing. first yeah so let me take you back to the duke what worked for you and what did not work for you um what worked was that the ktm hype hmm. along with yuvraj along with india bike week hmm. it got the word out to a certain level about this new brand that's made something called a kit because hmm. kits were not really something that people knew of hmm. but cars ke liye pata tha ki hmm. you, know, you can get skirting kits and hmm. bumper kits and stuff hmm. but bikes ke liye kits were considered like maybe luggage or something like that or body kit to tha hi nahi tha hi nahi correct maybe dc ne 30 saal pehle octane kits jo kiye the those were possibly the kits then maybe warden she did some kits but that's about it so it never became really mainstream so uh, the fact that people got to know ki uv ne kuch kiya hai mm. india bike week pe hua hai aur mm. ktm pe hua hai mm. it all came together really and, well yeah so uh, it was good we had our original plan was ki we would do limited numbers to 26 26 x26 was the name mm. 26 happen, happens to be my birthday so i try and do everything with 26 <laughs> so now okay. going forward if you see 26 and even now you know hey, it's mukul ka birthday <laughs> <laughs> not birthday but <laughs> So yeah, twenty six tha. We sold those, and those were priced at about fifty k, which is really steep. But at that time, I thought people would do it, and people did. We sold those twenty six in I think about twenty thirty days. Wow, that's good, man. Yeah, and then we thought, "Ki ab now people want it, so why should we stop?" Hmm. It was a, a plan, but yeah. so then we made some changes. It wasn't the exact same kit, but we relaunched the kit as Street X. Okay. Where we made some design changes, but that was the base. Mm. And then I continued production of that, and I still sell it today. The same kit? Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. What was it called again? Street X. Street X. So how has that kit adapted to the new Duke design? So we've had the Street X became like a series. So I have Street X, I have Street X two, I have Street X three. Version two point one. अच्छा वैसा. Yeah, then SE. So mm. I have basically six kits now in that Street X series mm. for the old gen, mm. new gen. You have like a bolt-on one, then you have a replacement. So all sorts of options depending on what the guy really wants, how much he wants to spend. Okay. Yes, so KTM was one brand. What yeah. other brands did you work on? The immediate shift was Bajaj mm. because Domino Rai, mm. and it was similar. So by that time we were mostly KTM people mm. when the Domino came. Mm. Then the Domino was an obvious uh, choice. We thought that a lot of people are doing touring mm. on the on the Domino, so we made our adventure kit, which we call Explorer, mm. which has been one of our most successful kits. Best selling kits, yeah. kit, yeah. So uh, that's what we did next. Then Royal Enfield happened, where we did the Rec. Uh, no, Cafe I Racer. love that kit, dude. It's a really classy retro vintage. Thank you. <laughs> And it's the the finish also is really nice on that. It's a it's, it's got a very gone through a lot of iterations. Yeah, but the the original rec I actually did was in two thousand fourteen when I did the KTM kit. So rec tabi was for five three five. हमने three fifty पे किया था classic थी पुरानी. Okay. But it was really crap. <laughs> okay. So uh, but we learned a lot. Sure. So I realized that finish on a cafe racer fairing on the inside is so important. Mm. We were just starting out, so there was a lot of fiber that you could see at the back. Mm. So people didn't really care much about it. But we learned so much that we made Rec Two, Rec Two Point One. Now we have a Rec RF, which is a race fairing, which has a engine cover that fits onto it. On the side. Huh. Oh, that's amazing. So it's a full yeah. fairing now. So is this similar to the GT Cup race bike? Yeah, in some ways. Yeah, okay. the GT Cup fairings are also made by us. Oh, lovely! Yes. Oh, okay. So the flat track kits for Royal Enfield, the GT Cup fairings are made by us. Okay, so now you are doing KTM, Bajaj, Royal Enfield. Anything else that you are working? On? We've done bits with everything. Okay. Because जब हम कुछ बनाते हैं तो हमारे comments start हो जाते हैं. When are you making for this? What about this? फिर हम वो बनाते हैं तो फिर कोई और bike का हो जाता है. So we've done Jixer, we've done lot of Yamaha bikes, R15. We've now started with MT15, hmm. R3, hmm. Avenger. So I, we've tried to get into 200 to 600 
every model that's हाँ, there हाँ. i've tried to get it in okay. some way why not below 200 uh, is, does the market study say ke isme zarurat nahi hai nahi zarurat hai price acceptance nahi hai aur mere yeah, point mere process mein main wo price pe nahi ja sakta hu correct when you're doing manual layups hmm. one piece at a time it's not a production for lakhs and like a ktm panel or something yeah. so like a splendor guy would not be okay spending 2000 rupees on a small panel hmm. whereas a ktm guy would hmm. or a ktm guy would be okay to spend 15 20k on his bike whereas a splendor guy wouldn't correct so we've done like even the 200 cc category of ns apache it's a very different category i can't compare that buyer to a ktm or a gt or that buyer his affordability is different correct so with my current process and capability i am limited to that category hmm. but the numbers are in the lower segment so yeah, obviously massive. i see yeah. that hmm. but it has to be some product like that which i can go into huge numbers and sure. hoega kabhi na kabhi kabhi na kabhi hmm. yeah right now how many people are there in your team but 25 25 and when you started yeah. you started with how many four or five <laughs> yeah and those people are still there uh no only maybe two of them are still there okay i'm still in touch with most of them but yeah the core team i think navinder navinder to yeah so yeah navinder to i have seen him since <laughs> the longest time yeah so even before autolog navinder and me were working together okay. we did a paint shop together so okay. he's a part of the core team for sure yeah. okay um where do you buy stuff like if i have to buy a where kit do I from where do i buy stuff no no <laughs> as in if i have to buy stuff from you where do i buy it from is it instagram is it a website is uh, it amazon flipkart kahan se har jagah hai uh, website is the main thing okay where otherwise actually it started off with instagram hmm. our biggest thing is instagram so uh, people just dm us ask us but then we try and direct them to a website which is where everything's listed it's we called autolog design yes dot com yes okay and so this is a proper registered company with a proper website Yes, everything is in in place. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay, what's next for Autolog Design? Lots of things. Um, I say some some secret that secret only secret. मतलब podcast पे भी होगा वो. ऐसा क्या बताऊँ यार? But what are you working on? In terms of projects. Yes. Um, we do a lot of prototyping now. Hmm. So, starting off with the Royal Enfield project to. other manufacturers also we started giving our design expertise to companies who feel like maybe they need help with understanding our target hmm. segment better so hmm. the enthusiast segment to come up with more adventure type motorcycles and stuff like that so that is something that we've been working on i can't give details on which brand what bike of course, but, yeah, yeah. but yeah, there is huh. there's a lot of interesting stuff that's going to hit our enthusiast segment soon not only from uh, stuff that autolog is doing but in general the way things are going okay so when you talk about scaling a business i'm sure at some point in time that thought would have come by not early in your autolog career but somewhere down the line ke how do we make this big bigger biggest bilkul yeah so what was that those discussions like and what was that thought thought like so when i started i had no idea business plan kaise banate hain hmm. my dad was the person who has some understand my dad's also not a business guy he's always been a corporate mm. guy but he understands so he helped me put a business plan together so my idea of scale mm. was just numbers on that excel sheet i had no idea of kitna bada kya ho sakta hai mm. when you hear kisi ki 1 lakh rupees salary hai 2 lakh salary hai so you as when you grow you mm. keep that perception as what you want to do right mm. but when once you start doing a business you start paying people salaries you understand ki for you to take 1 2 lakhs home hmm. you need to actually make yeah, this much. a lot more yeah so it's been amazing man like i've learned so much which maybe if i did a business degree i would have learned quicker but hmm. it's been awesome learning it by making mistakes and seeing the bigger picture now there's hmm. so much potential might hmm. not be only with the stuff that i do right now there's a lot that i'm still working on like some things which you know like the ranch yeah which happened only in jan yeah. and it's that's become, what i wanted to talk about as well yeah so it's become a really important part of our business yeah 
where it started off as a branding exercise but right now it's a substantial part of my business yeah so aise type ke prototyping uh, lifestyle related stuff maybe a platform for other products also so there's a lot of stuff that's in the yeah. pipeline yeah so i think that was the next part of our conversation as well uh, you started off as autolog design and then you have expanded to a couple of different things that you do yeah one is the autolog ranch as a as a property which houses a dirt track and a slide school so you're yeah. also doing the official slide school with royal enfield in pune you're responsible yes. for that yes so how did that come across and i think it's also important to understand the why why get into say a dirt track uh, which people can come on any on any given sunday and you know give you some money and do right. a couple of laps around or even slide school for that matter what 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 is the what is the thought process behind starting all of this why approach royal enfield and say boss i have a place i'm going to put in uh, my money prepare a slide school and this is what it's going to be called and this is we're going to make it official with you guys so what was that part of your life like mm, so bikes and racing to go hand in hand hmm. when you get into the enthusiast scene you're going to be surrounded by guys who are either going to the track or want to be on the track so accessibility to tarmac is really bad for us guys here hmm. so far yes so dirt tracks were coming up we always had this extra piece of land next to the workshop hmm. so the thought was always there ki yahan kuch banayenge hmm. so first we started out by making a dirt track ourselves in 2018 i think that was just to get a feel ki kya hota hai log aayenge hmm. will they come we didn't want to make money off of it it was nothing like that it was just ki if nothing else our boys will end up having some fun there hmm. so that's how it started one year we did that next year we pitched that to castrol hmm. that's how we got castrol to come on board then we made dirt log there which was dirt log in 100 kmph hmm. we made the first obstacle course hmm. had huge learning hmm. when you i mean also my first sponsorship deal hmm. so in terms of what you're supposed to deliver how you're supposed to deliver it what are the expectations so then i started making decks and that's how dirt log ranch happened where Royal and Field um were looking for partners who could we were already making the kits for them. Hmm. So if it could be like a one stop place where um the track is also there bikes bhi wahi ban rahi hain. So Correct. it all just made sense. They saw that we successfully did dirt log. Hmm. So they were they asked us if we could do a slide, slide school. school. So I looked at a new place because our place was too small. Uh so we needed at least three times more jagah. Hmm. So char panch jagah dekhi uske baad thankfully those didn't happen because the final place we got is so so much nicer mm. with the sunset and everything it's yeah man it's a really nice place yeah so i and because that place is so much bigger the opportunity to do other stuff is also there so we didn't limit it to just slide school we thought ki dirt track bhi add kar dete hain now we've added a 4x4 mm. we're going to add enduro so slowly slowly we'll try and make it even bigger and add more stuff so you don't limit the kind of people who are coming there hmm. that's what we learned with dirt log okay so we were too focused on an extreme guy obstacle course yeah ha yeah. so the regular logo ke liye uska kuch value nahi hai so hmm. this now becomes the we call it dirt log 100 pro hmm. so only guys who really want to go into something like that wahan jayenge hmm. so um, you know you spoke of the 4x4 track and a lot of brands are also interested in yeah. getting stuff done so toyota i believe did a hilux event there yeah Uh, there's obviously the motorcycle thing happening there you have the slide school and all of that i'm sure there is some cost to it of course yeah so yeah. if i have to if if i if i stay in pune or even mumbai for that matter and i have to get there and do say one event of slide school yeah. or get my own expulse or a himalayan or a 390 adventure and do a one hour session of the dirt track right. how much will it cost me we try to keep it super affordable so dirt track for example ek ghante ke liye is 1000 bucks okay so it's like go karting hmm. if you go go karting hmm. 10 minute ke liye you pay 7 800 bucks hmm. so yahan par it's a grand for an hour hmm. slide school is 2500 bucks for 4 hours where you have one hour classroom and about 3 hours of right 2500 for 4 hours 4 hours okay matlab yeah. 3 to 4 hours hmm. 
मोस्टली थ्री कभी कभी गेट स्ट्रेस टू फोर अगर बहुत मजा आ रहा है तो फोर हाँ तो मतलब ऐसे मौसम अच्छा हो रहा है धूप कम हो गई है दोस्त का एंड फोर बाई फोर We've had just two experience days so far. Hmm. Abhi tak I've had um, whenever the company is doing an event, it's limited to the company stuff. But we've had two of our own where we allowed people to come with their own vehicles. Uh, so that time it was fifteen hundred bucks hmm. for an hour hmm. where you come with your car and you can go onto the track. Hmm. How difficult is the car track? On a scale of one to ten, if you have to put a so rating. for somebody who's uh, never done off road, it's intimidating. on at least 3 or 4 obstacles hmm. somebody who's a regular it's nothing acha the whole point is that this was created for the toyota event hmm. that's how it started hmm. so that toyota event is an experience event you're hmm. trying to get people to just get an experience of what the car is capable of doing hmm. so but now we plan up ye ban gaya so now we'll level it up make it at least one part of it will be more extreme correct so that these seasoned off road guys also don't get bored एंड जोक अबाउट कि ये क्या है तो मैं हर दिन करता हूं डू यू नीड अ 4 बाय 4 टू गेट देयर और अ गुड एसयूवी विल डू द थार डज इट इन टू व्हील ड्राइव अच्छा सो आई एम गेसिंग अ लॉट ऑफ द कार्स कैन आल्सो डू इट इन टू व्हील इंक्लाइन इज अ प्रॉब्लम तो इंक्लाइन पे इफ यू स्किप द इंक्लाइन आई गेस यू कैन डू मोस्ट ऑफ इट द रीजन व्हाई आई आस्क्ड यू दिस इज बिकॉज़ देयर आर पीपल हु ओन अ लॉट ऑफ एसयूवीज नॉट एक्सट्रीम एसयूवीज बट एसयूवीज इन जनरल विद गुड ग्राउंड क्लीयरेंस या and for any sunday kabhi aise kuch free raha yeah, absolutely. so they can obviously yeah, yeah, come yeah. to you all this so thing. if not all 10 obstacles eight obstacles can be done hmm. okay if you don't have a four wheel drive sir sure i want to talk about the business a bit is there something is there a move that you did and you realize mistake hmm yeah i mean i think multiple products when i look back i think were mistakes hmm. um one would be you want to know the products yeah that'll be great so like maybe the kit that i did for the 200 ns hmm. i thought that affordability was something whereas it was very different so and then i i tried pushing it for quite a while so you learn ki agar i mean f- the best thing is to get the idea right before you make it hmm. but agar galti ho bhi gayi the sooner you realize that it's a lost cause hmm. the better it is hmm. because when when you make something and you really feel for it you just keep saying ki nahi ye bhi try karte hain ye bhi try karte hain price yahan kar dete hain without paint offer kar dete hain so it, i tried everything okay so aise type ke bahut sare but they all end up helping you sure so that the next product you don't make that same mistake again sure. yeah. and what's been the biggest win of your career so far biggest win of my career hmm I think uh, Royal Enfield Association overall, not just slide school, but the kits and yeah, just where we've managed to get with the way they feel about what we are capable of delivering and the fact that they give us the work that they give us. Hmm. I think that the fact that जब मैंने पहले कैफे रेसर बनाई थी, ये है इस रिपोर्ट कास्ट पे. मैंने रॉयल एनफील्ड को ब्लॉक कर दिया था ओके क्योंकि मैंने उनको मैसेज किया कि नो दिस इज द किट दैट आई वाज आई वाज अ यंग एंग्री यंग मैन या सो आई वाज जस्ट ट्राइंग टू गेट कि यू नो अप्रिशिएट माय स्टफ बट ऑब्वियसली दे डिडंट एंड राइटफुली सो या सो फ्रॉम दैट पॉइंट टू नाउ वेयर आई वर्क सो क्लोजली विद देम एंड शर्ट वी आर डूइंग व्हाट वी आर डूइंग विद आरी फील्स ग्रेट ऑसम मैन आई जस्ट want to conclude this podcast with of course your thoughts and your forecast on what this industry is going to be all about and <clears throat> a couple of lines about autolog as well because autolog's been home autolog's been hard autolog's been you for the longest time how is how has it been so far what can people expect in the future and what do you think of the industry in general oh it's been amazing um every year i get more excited about what we are doing more aspects of it which become uh more exciting kyunki the harder you work at something more doors open you see a uh, value coming out of what you've done jo shuru mein nahi milta hai mm. where you feel ki main itna kuch kar raha hu lekin iska kuch ho nahi raha mm. but at the end when you see ki you know that time mein ko lag raha tha ki kuch value nahi hai lekin abhi that stuff also is making a difference so um 
that's in terms of what log where i feel our journey is uh, brought me to now in terms of customization a lot's changing the indian scene is evolving we are getting closer to what the international scene is hmm. where like i said ek ek bike ke liye aapko kuch na kuch to milta hai at least it started off with let's say tank grips and risers and the company is only offering so much so what i foresee is that these kind of things are going to become much more available from the company hmm. the company will associate with many brands like us who might be experts at something so like a puig for visor aise jo bhi alag alag brands hain plus accessories in general will change with your electric motorcycles the kind of accessories the materials there's just so much of evolution happening so quick 3d stuff is moving so fast vr is moving so fast ai is moving so fast yeah is moving so fast i mean these are all trendy things but the fact is that it, they, they are, are moving, moving so yeah, fast yeah yeah so yeah i mean i like jo hum sochte the ki you'll be downloading accessories and upgrades it's going to happen it might not be aesthetic yeah. i mean at some point it could be that yeah. you can download some color changing stuff and yeah but yeah abhi ke liye to evolution wala time hai so alag alag cheezon mein booms aayenge yeah try and be as many boom ka part as possible <laughs> nice yeah. i also feel uh, with with the time with the number of times i've been at autolog i also feel it's a very chill place and i think it will be very interesting for someone to intern with you yeah um where should they write inquiry at autologdesign.com okay please and send in and just give a shout out to your instagram channel your ranch drop in everything autolog design is where all our kits are hmm Autolog India is where we make automotive conversation. Autolog Aero is my prototyping division, and Autolog Ranch is our ranch. And this is all available on Instagram. Instagram, thoda bhot on YouTube. Like Autolog Design is on YouTube. Sure. Uh, Facebook, yeah, but Instagram mostly. Super man, it was a really nice conversation, uh, and I'm this. sure uh, people who are interested into will suddenly go to inquiry at autologdesign. dot com. Yes, yes, dot com. Yeah, so I'm sure you'll receive a lot of resumes, and and that's the thing with cool places, you will find talent from some part of the country that will hopefully stick with you for the longest yeah. time and bring in so much value. I look forward to it. Yes, super. If you have any final messages, like a message or a word, you can. Uh, thank you first off for having me. Hmm. Uh. I love talking about my journey. Yeah. I, I feel like it's become like a uh, script. Yeah. But every time we talk, थोड़ा सा tweak हो जाता है. Yeah. But yeah. No, it's, but it's necessary, यार. It's people have to know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Of course. So yeah, thank you. Yeah. Super man, it was great having you. Uh, if you want to ask Mukul any more questions, then you can do that by dropping in your comments in the comment section below. And just a reminder, we are available on all or. audio podcasting platforms <laughs> and on video in the video format on youtube more questions uh, for mukul in the comment section and of course you can have a direct chat with him as well sure. at the rate autolog design at the rate autolog ranch at the rate so autolog so many autologs just like arrow autolog. and autolog india yes thank so you so once you type autolog on instagram you will yes, find some sure, page which sure. will connect you to mukul yes okay yeah. superb thank you guys see you soon